James Charles and Corinna react to Mugshot Challenge Backlash. Addison Rae reacts to being dissed by Nate Hill, plus Deji denies making his virus video for views. Hey guys, it's Devonte for Hollywood Life with your YouTube roundup, starting with Lele Pons. The Latin singer went viral overnight for a dance video. However, it wasn't the dancing that's getting all the attention. To Addison Rae now, yesterday Nate Hill dropped a diss track on the popular TikTok star that essentially slams her physical appearance. Nate includes lyrics like, all she does is scrunch her face, I see hotter girls every day at my local Wendy's drive through Well, Addison reacted to the track in a tweet that said, this makes me really sad. I can't change how people interact with me or my tweets, but I'm thankful they do. They have kindness, they aren't afraid to share with me, and I'm grateful for that. I struggle with my body image and insecurities in general, and this can be so hurtful. Fellow FaZe member Ewok also reacted on Twitter, calling the video unnecessary impression farming. In response to the backlash, Nate has deleted the video and issued an apology of sorts, saying he had no intention to hurt anyone and he'll do better next time. Now moving on to James Charles and Corinna because they've received a ton of backlash for participating in a mugshot challenge trend. I won't show you the pics here, but James had a black eye and bloody nose, while Corinna just had a bloody nose. In response to the backlash, Corinna said in part, people are acting crazy on this post. It has nothing to do with domestic violence. It was more like I got into a fight with someone and this was my mugshot. James reacted by deleting the photo and saying in part, it was never my intention to trigger anyone. It's a waste of time trying to have an open discussion with people who hate me regardless. James also compared his fake mugshot to The Weeknd's new bloody album cover, and questioned why no one is accusing him of glorifying violence and abuse. And now to Deji. Recall yesterday we told you about the vlogger receiving a ton of backlash for his video where he reveals he could possibly have the virus. The backlash caused his channel to dip back below 10 million subscribers, and today he released a video reacting to all of it and shutting down some of the rumors. Obviously my brother put on a story saying that anybody will do anything for views, that wasn't directed at me, it was directed at something else. A lot of you already knew that, so I don't really have to clear the air with that, but obviously there were people that were trying to twist it. Another thing I'd like to talk about, obviously there, have, there are people saying I'm doing this for views and everything. It's disgusting and it's sad. It's actually pathetic. And it's sad that a lot of people think that's how, that's what I would want to do. That, that I'm actually trying to profit off of the COVID-19 virus it's disgusting and in fact it it, it kind of pisses me off too that you guys would think that so it also begs the question that this will most likely be the last time i reveal anything to you guys mainly because people will try to twist it try to twist my words to make it seem as if i'm doing something for views or doing something for some profitable gain so yeah I hope you understand my choice in that matter. I was mainly doing this to keep my fans updated, but like, I hope you guys understand why I won't be doing that anymore because you have people who were just waiting for any sort of drama for me, any sort of way to attack me. So I hope you guys understand. But all right guys, you can hit that sub, like, and bell button and make sure you stick with us for all the latest.